Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, uh, what's on the agenda is we're working on a little white Toyota again. And uh, since we got the engine in and got the fuel system all plumbed, uh, the goal today is to get the wiring down on the computer and uh, get the cooling system squared away, at least enough to where we can start, the, start it up. So it'll do a lot for morale if I can hear it run in the truck. And so I don't think that should be too much of a difficult thing to do. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try and make that happen. Okay, so we got the wiring together. It obviously looks like shit, so bear with me for a minute. But um, so what I figured out is um, when I took this K plug out, the white and the gray K plug and the computer out of the Tacoma. I went through and figured out what was power, what was constant 12 volts, and what was ground. Um, it's a pretty straightforward little deal. Um, well, let's see here. This uh, this black and yellow wire is battery powered all the time, and that goes to the. Uh, looks like that goes to the gray K plug, I believe. Yep. And then all the rest of these are ignition source power. Green with black, white and green, black and red, black and red. White with red, black with red again, and let's see, what else do we have here? The only one that was ground was this black with white with black stripe is ground. Other than that, the all the rest of these, I think there's the total is like six wires, I think, six or seven wires. Basically, that's all it really needs to run. So I'll get in here and clean this up a little bit, and uh, I'll do a See if I can uh, come back to this and be a little more thorough. No, I'll just do it now. So, so there we go. So green with black, white with green, that's two. And that is, this is just a solid black wire. Okay, that's battery, or that's key on power black with red that's another one and white with red black with red and white with blue as far as the um, Toyota Tacoma end of it and then like I said earlier the black with yellow is constant battery that's a keep alive memory and the black with white or white with black is ground which is pretty typical on most Toyotas no matter seen no matter what year they are so that squares that away. That'll get it. Uh, that'll get the computer happy enough to make this thing run. As far as the cooling system goes, this was really, really straightforward stuff. Um, the heater hoses back here are stock. <laughs> so I use the '85 Toyota heater control valve, and then this is the hose that came off of the Forerunner. That this hose came with the the 3RZ and the other hose this hose I believe came off the 3RZ also I had to shorten it a little bit because it doesn't go here but anyhow that's stock hoses um, the radiator is out of the the 85 it's out of the out of this truck um, unfortunately that radiator is just too damn big it's too tall and it won't fit it won't fit down far enough the frame won't allow it to so in other words the radiator would be about this high which wouldn't work with the hood um, so that's the 85 radiator this is the upper radiator hose out of the Tacoma <laughs> and it just goes right where it's supposed to no modification whatsoever and then on the other side here the lower radiator hose this is the one off the 22R so that's the elbow hose the metal tube that goes around behind the alternator and then comes out down there and those are all the, the hoses off of the 85 or the 22R fits perfectly 
And then I put a cap on here because I ran the hose over here for the heater, so I don't need that, so I just put a cap on it. And that's the cooling system. I think eventually I'm going to make a shroud for it. I'll probably butcher one of these two shrouds, but in the meantime, to get it running, I don't really need that. As far as the air intake, um, to make it fit a little better, I ended up cutting this off. I just took a skinny wheel and just lopped it off because you really don't need this for anything. This is just uh, this goes to the uh, fuel pressure regulator and it just uses vacuum from the air going through the intake so as long as it's on as long as the hose is on this side of the throttle body it should be totally fine so this will be completely adequate to do what we got to do so by cutting this out of here that shortens this up and then that allows this to fit in here much better i still need to do a little cleaning up but at least it's it's pretty happy uh, this plastic thing's got to go away and I got to figure out what to do probably do a cold air intake something or another to um, make that work but anyhow that's not too bad that'll allow it to run I don't remember if I went over the battery in the last episode I don't think so anyhow I did move the battery over to the, dr the driver's side from over here um, the uh, so this big fat white wire right here um, was hooked up to was hooked up to this circuit breaker in in the stock application for the 22R. Now that wire ends up coming over to here, but it was it actually attached to I forget what it, it attached to something over here on the stock 22R, which I no longer need. So I went ahead and just ran that to the positive side of the battery, and then ran that over here to the circuit breaker. And then that runs power for the fuse box and also power for the uh, in, inside the car as well for my uh, fuel pump switch. Side note with the cooling system, and there was one thing I did forget about is uh, to hook, I have a manual gauge. And so what I did is I took the plug out of the water jacket right there. There's just a regular old plug and took that out and I put water in it and water come pouring out. So that's a, that's a, a good location to if you have a manual um, gauge to plug that into. And I'm pretty sure this plug, this plug right here is for oil. I get to clean it out and uh, take that thing off as you can see it's plugged with dirt.